Ramurti. Uh, good morning. And uh, this vlog is basically um, how one would use a hayniv at a convention, uh, a comic con. Let's say if you're dressing as Ganondorf or you know Gerudo, Naburu, whatever. Ocarina of Time, Gerudos. Um, here are some useful words and phrases you could use uh, if you wanted to uh, impress someone, you know, or you just want to show off your skills, you know, and that um, you didn't want to use Breath of the Wild, Gerudo. Let's just say. It's just an option. You can use Breath of the Wild, Gerudo, if you want, but this is if you want a little bit more than just a couple words. So. All right, so uh, first thing, we're going to start out with uh, pleasantry, you know, the pleasantries, greetings, and stuff like that. Yeah, so um, these are just basics. Uh, ye! Ye! Hi! You see a friend or you meet somebody different that, you know, their costume is really cool, you know? Um, you love it, you want to say hi, you know, or fellow cosplayers, you know, also dressing as the character that you are. So, um, all right, and, uh, Behana Sea, Behana Sea, excuse me, Behana Sea, Gerudo Niv Gajbi, do you speak Gerudo language? Now, I should tell you that the official name is by Hainiv. It's been that way since 2013. But before then, uh, when the language was first created, it was actually called the Gerudo language. And it was created in 2004. So, you know, and for the sake of, at a convention, you know, cosplaying as a Gerudo, and you want to ask somebody if they speak Gerudo, you just, you use the original, more colloquial term. They'll know what you mean. If they, if indeed they speak it, of course. <laughs> if they don't, you know. So, and once again, it's, uh, Gerudo Nev Gajbi. Gerudo Nev Gajbi. Do you speak Gerudo? And um, if somebody were to ask you that, uh, you might say something like, Sha, Gerudo Niv et Gaj. Yes, I speak Gerudo language. And if you're not really sure on your skills, you do know a few things, um, you can say, Rumalao Gerudo Niv Gaj es Ashkia. Ruma lao gerudo nev gaj es ashkia. I can only speak a little bit of Gerudo. And, um, and alternatively, if someone says that to you, you know, you can say, um, Dahas, engnev gaj es o ashkia. Dahas, engnev gaj es o ashkia. It's okay. We can speak English. Moving on. Shandapias. Shandapias. That's great. And that could be used to like express, you know, um, just, hey, that's great, you know. Alternatively, if something is better than great, you can say, Karnopias. Karnopias. That's awesome! And then, um, and uh, if someone pays you a compliment, you can say, Kitit! Kitit! Thank you! You know, alternatively, uh, if you want to do an impressive vendor, like, you know, you go buy something at a booth, uh, and you, you know, you want to impress with your Gerudo skills, you, you know, and after they you know, you pay for your stuff and they give it to you, you say, Kitit! Thanks! So, anyway, 
And then if you want to make conversation, um, you know, you meet somebody, uh, you know, just a friend or something, you can ask them, you know, like, for example, Pishlop Biakvik, Pishlop Biakvik, where are you from? And um, they might respond, or if somebody asks you that, let's say, you can say, for example, Pishlop Chicago Ayata. I'm from Chicago. But of course, like if you're from New York City, you can say New York City, Los Angeles, London, Sydney, whatever. You can just say it in English, you know, but you say that and then the English name for your city. And in that case, just use English, you know, just for the city name, you know, it's probably the same anyway. <laughs> so, um, and then, uh, do you introduce yourselves? Uh, you say like something like, Bidasu dehas. Bidasu dehas. It's good to meet you. And, um, so, and then this next one, now you can be sincere about it, or if you just, you encounter somebody who's kind of creepy and you want to get away from them, and they just happen to be speaking Gerudo as well, ooh, um, you can say to them, and like I said, you can be sincere about it, you know, if it's a person you actually think is really cool and you want to hang out with them a little bit more, or a creep you want to get away from. Either way, this phrase works beautifully, English or a Hainiv. So I'm going to teach you the Hainiv one. So it's going to be, um, Behana Seah, Balrug Betas Uk Eteno Weyein. I'll repeat that. Um, Behana Seah, Balrug Betas Uk Eteno Weyein. Excuse me, I need to use the bathroom. I'll be back. And, uh, whether you mean it or not, yeah, it's up to you. And then, um, or, you know, maybe you can ask your friends, or, you know, like, Baruch betas ashfik? Baruch betas ashfik. Where's the bathroom? And, um, you can answer somebody if they ask you, or you know, whatever the situation is. Aikva um, today su chambi varug betas ash. Aikva today su chambi varug betas ash. The bathroom is across the convention hall. And that was just an example. You could also say, you know, Korev uh, to your right or Watsi to your left, whatever, wherever it is. So, I'm not going to go into that full lesson, goodness, no. <laughs> so anyway, um, and then when you are parting ways with this person, uh, you can say, Bidasu desu harkenchu. Bidasu desu harkenchu. It was good meeting you. It was nice meeting you, but same thing. And you can also say, Vasudesu Biwanho. Vasudesu Biwanho. Enjoy the rest of the convention. Or enjoy the convention, literally. And, um, you know, uh, that kiss. It's goodbye. That kiss. Isk Sudesu. Isk Sudesu. A meeting or a convention uh, in this situation. Now, sudesu can either be a noun, which is a meeting, a convention, right? But also it can be a verb, but, you know, present progression, like, for example, you know, as, as I said in the last uh, little bit, you know, it was good meeting you. So, isk sudesu. Yeah, as long as you put like isk, va, ra, piki, you know, 
then you definitely mean the convention, a convention. So, all right. Once again, I'm not going to go into that too much. An example of that would be Bilea Basudesu Eskipaji. I welcome you to the convention. And um, you can't have a you know, Comic Con without uh, Guizgoys, eh? Uh, Guizgoys. Guizgoys. It's a uh, disguise or a costume. So, um, example of usage would be Shandapat Guizgoys Ash. Harparatvi? Shandapat Guizgoys Ash. Harparatvi? Your costume is great. Did you make it? And um, and then the verb to disguise, to put on a costume. Now, to put on clothing is different from to disguise. I mean, lit is to get dressed, put on clothing. Guithio is to disguise, to, like put on a costume. So an example of this would be Hovasudesu guithio esquitutma. I chose not to dress up for the convention. And the next word, uh, vera jess, vera jess, a mask. So, you know, and uh, I have one right here. <laughs> Mask. Vera Jess. <laughs> and um, an example of the usage could be something like uh, Piki Vera Jess Paratbi. Piki Vera Jess Paratbi. Did you make that mask? And um, another word, um, you know, connected to costuming would be Vera's win. Vera's win. A wig. So you could say something like uh, Pas Vera's win be chukatvik. Pas Vera's win be chukatvik. Where did you get your wig? <laughs> like it was really cool looking. And um, so and then an another word uh, is theft. Theft or a game, uh, be it video game, board game, whatever, card game, but all the same, it's a theft. So an example of usage uh, would be Zelda theft dyke be face back ka. Zelda theft dyke be face back ka. Which Zelda game do you like best? And there is an answer for it. If somebody asks you, like I said, it's all hypothetical. Um, somebody asks you that, you can say, um, Majora's Mask Daik as Faith Back. Majora's Mask Daik as Faith Back. I like Majora's Mask the best. Technically, uh, Majora's Mask would be translated as uh, Majora Ya Vera Jess. But when talking about Zelda games like this, no, just just use the English or whatever. You know, Ocarina of Time if you like it. Link Between Worlds. Just use the English. So, and now for the last one uh, is Nejnasu. Nejnasu. There are going to be a lot of these at, you know, some Comic Cons, you know, some gaming conventions and uh, announcements, Nejnasu, announcements. So an example of usage would be, Arish, otole ya pin Nejnasu para Nintendo Incha. Arish, otole ya pin Nejnasu para Nintendo Incha. Hurry up, Nintendo is gonna make their big announcement. So anyway, all right, well, um, that's all for right now. If there's something you think I missed, or you know you want me to tell you how to translate something that's you know, related to 
convention words and stuff that, like I said, that I didn't go over, let me know, please. That would be, yeah, just let me know. That's it. Um, stop kids. Bye.